Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today I am going to be casing the catalog. And what case means is copy and share everything. So um, this is what I'm going to be casing, this card right here. Um, our catalogs are a nice way to get... Um, lots of inspiration. So make sure that you um, look through our catalogs and make yourself some cards. Okay, so I did want to uh, make one ahead of time. And I did do some of the prep work ahead of time because this is, um, or it was, kind of um, time consuming. This is a slimline card. So, uh, you are going to have to make your own envelope for this, but if you have an envelope punch board, it's going to be really simple to do. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, as you saw, I'm going to be using the uh, Snail Mail Bundle, and I have a bunch of things. This is the stamp set, and this is the dies. I have a bunch of the dies, or a few of the dies, already out in my supplies folder so that um, I'll be ready to go um, but I am this is the main bundle that I am using I'm also going to be using our um, what are these called layering ovals and our layering squares and that's going to be um, to make this cute little mailbox here all right so let's go ahead and get started you are going to need a piece of Bermuda Bay that is seven by eight and a half and then I'm going to score that at three seven by eight and a half and I'm going to score it at three and a half um, you're going to need a piece another piece of Bermuda Bay and this measures three and a fourth no it doesn't it measures 2 and 15 sixteenths, so that's the little tick mark just before the 3 by 5 and a half. Okay, um, a piece of the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. This measures 3 and a half by 8 and a quarter, 3 and a fourth by 8 and a fourth. And then another piece of basic white that measures the same thing, 3 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. Okay. I also have a um, another piece of this is just for the inside of the the card just to dress up the inside. I don't know if I'm gonna use this as a Valentine's card or just a regular card. So I didn't put any sentiment in the middle. So this piece is just going right down here. So this is gonna measure three fourths by three and a fourth. All right, so let's get started here. So this is going to get scored at three and a half because this is seven inches. So we want to um, score it in half. So that is three and a half. All right. So we will fold that in half and then I will take my bone folder and make sure I get a good crease on here. Then I can take our piece of DSP and that can just go right on the front because we're not doing anything with that. So it can just go right on the front of our card. Trying to get an even border on all of the sides here. Glue on the mail there. <coughs> I'll even just do the inside since we got it sitting right here. Um, where did my little piece of designer series paper go? Right here. 
So this is just going to go right at the bottom. And then I just kind of pick this up and make sure that it's right at the bottom there. All right, turn that over. Stamp and seal right at the top. And then that can just go right on the inside. So the inside of our card is already done. I'm sure I'll put some type of sentiment in there, but I just don't know what I want to put on there yet because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. So it will be ready when I'm ready for it. All right, there we go. Okay, to make the mailbox, we are going to take our layering ovals and our layering squares. I am using, now I numbered mine so that they go from smallest to biggest. So one, two, three, four, five, I am using six. And then here's seven and here's eight, but I'm using the number six. So the third from the biggest. And then I'm using number three for the layering squares. I'm using just the straight squares for this. So these are the additional things that I'm using. So I'm using number six and I'm using number three. Um, this is just to cut a little piece of basic white for the little letter in there, which I've already done. I've already made, I've already cut out all of the little letters. This comes in, this and this um, come in the snail dies. Um, I cut this out of um, a Coastal Cabana. Cut that out of Coastal Cabana. I cut all of the envelopes out and I've put them all together except for the one. I needed two in Blushing Bride, one in Real Red, one in Coastal Cabana, and one in Bermuda Bay. So I've got those all made up except for the one. This one you want to leave um, open because that's what you're going to put your little letter in. All right, so I don't have to do any of those. And I got this done already. So let's make our little post uh, mailbox. All right. So you're going to take this and you're going to slip this. You're going to take your uh, piece of Bermuda Bay and you're going to slip it inside your die because we only want to cut this part. We don't want to cut this part down here. So I'm going to bring my die up all the way to the top of my Bermuda Bay, all the way up to the top. I'm going to take a little piece of tape just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere that I don't want it to. That This one is going to be for the feet down here, but I want to do them separately. So I'm going to take my little mini here. You can use the big one if you want to. All right, so what you want to do is you're going to put this in the mini. And I only want to cut. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. I only want to cut this part up here. So I'm going to slip this in and I'm going to just position this so that it is halfway um, in my on my oval here um, so that it will just cut out this. It's not going to cut out this anyway because this is underneath but if you do do this, if you put the whole thing on there it's going to make a crease. Ask me how I know. So we're just going to, okay, take that out. And then we've just cut this part off of the paper there. So then that gives us this shape right here. All right. Take this. I've used this a number of times. All right, so now 
we are going to take and make the feet. And that's where the square comes in. So I'm going to push position this on my grid paper here. And I want about, so I'm going to come up and I have three squares here, three squares here. I'm going to position the little, I'm going to position the die here and then one, two, three, four up. All right, so I'm going to put my tape on here again. I'm going to put two pieces just to make sure. And then this is going to go in our mini again. Okay. And then this is going to make our mailbox shape. Now, I don't know how the catalog people did it. This is just how I'm doing it. I'm just guessing. All right, so there you have it, okay? All right, so I'm going to put that back in there, and I'm going to put this back over here so that I don't lose it. All right, now, to make the slit... You're going to need um, some kind of cutting mat. I have a cutting mat here. We used to have um, a little cutting mat here. I don't, I don't have our X-Acto knife. We don't have one anymore, but I know we used to. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to use this. So what I'm doing is I'm positioning this straight on my mat here. And I'm coming down... So this is from here to here, it's about an inch and a half. So I'm coming down about an inch and a half. Use a ruler or some kind of straight edge. And I'm gonna come in, am I in the screen? I am not, okay. Let's make sure I'm in the screen here. Okay. So I wanna make sure that I come in about a fourth of a quarter on each side here. So hopefully I will not put my head in the screen too much. And then you're just going to slice right along here. Oops. And then that's going to give you your little opening for your mailbox. All right. back in. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, this little, it's not really a square, it's more of a rectangle. Um, I want to make sure that the longer side is going to go on here. Um, yep, so I want to make sure that it's longer. This measures, let's see, this measures about two and three eighths by about two and a half. So we want to make sure that the two and a half side is going up. I'm going to take one of our new fabulous blending brushes, my Coastal Cabana ink, and I'm just going to ink a little bit on here just to give it a little bit of definition. And these are just really gently, and then start blending out. Because you don't want a big splotch from, from putting it on there. If you, get too much, if you feel that you get too much on there, just dab it off a little bit, and then come to your paper. Okay. About done here. All right, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of something. Okay, and then just wipe this off. You can take a, a micro, uh, microfiber cloth 
and wipe it off on there and then wipe it off on your grid paper and you're good to go. Okay. All right, that's done with that. So that is gonna go on here. Just take a little bit of my glue here. And we'll get that pretty much in the middle here. All right, there we go. Then we're going to take our letters here and we're going to put all of those inside our little mailbox. Okay, so all you do to assemble. You're just going to fold on your creases. They're all there for you. Right. Just going to take a little bit of glue here. Put that on that side. Fold that in here up and down and then I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to hold it like that until I'm done till it's done drying all right now for this guy I just cut that out of uh, basic white I'm going to use my blushing bride and my real red and the little heart that is in the snail mail stamp set and I'm just going to stamp two hearts all right and then I'm going to take the red and I'm going to stamp the other heart right between them just like that. They can overlap. That looks even better. Okay, before you close up your real red, you're going to take the this little snail guy here that says you've got mail. You're going to take him and let's see. I'll show you what I did. Because I've got those ready as well. So I had to do a little bit of cutting up. So I took just a piece of basic white. I just used the strap. Put this on a block. I only want You've Got Mail. So I only inked up that part, stamped that on there, and then I cut those out. And I didn't use anything fancy. I just used um, my snips and I cut those out and put a couple of dimensionals behind them. So that is ready to go, all right? I've also got my little snail here. Now, this snail does not have a punch to it. Um, you can fussy cut it. It's real sim simple to fussy cut, but I just use my scan and cut and I cut out a few of them. Um, there was a few of them in there. I just took a small piece and I cut out, it cut out whatever was on there. Um, this one's facing this way. This one's gonna be facing that way because I only had, I didn't wanna waste a whole sheet of paper. And then I just um, took a piece, this one I have a piece of Blushing Bride um, and I made just a little, um, uh, whatever this is called, shadow <laughs> on it. Um, so I have a piece of Blushing Bride behind this one. This one I have a piece of Bermuda Bay behind it. Okay, so he's ready to go. I'm not using that, but it cut it out, so I kept him. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do 
and let's see how these are positioned here. So we need a blushing bride, and we're just going to put that on in there. And then we're going to take the Coastal Cabana one. Now, of course, you can do this any way you want to. Um, here is the real red one. The real red one is, I'm not going to put that in there until I get this in here the way I want. So this one's just going to go in here like this. Okay, kind of just like this. Now I have it kind of the way I want it. I'm going to take some scotch tape and I'm just going to tape this down. Just to make it easier on myself. All right, so I'm going to take this little guy here and I'm going to put some glue behind him. And then that's just going to slide right in my envelope here. Got a little bit of glue on there. So that's going to go just like that. Then I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay and that's going to go right here. And my other Blushing Bride is going to go right about there. Okay. I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm just going to tape these together up here. I'm also going to put a little bit of glue on the inside in here. Just wherever you want to. I'm just going to put a little glue right here. These ones I think are good. I think I'll put a little bit on this front blushing bride one. And then I'm just going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. All right. So then we have our little snail and she's going to go. I'm going to say she's a she because she is pink. Let's get some dimensionals here. And then we'll put a couple dimensionals on there. All right. We are home for a snow day today. We uh, got like seven inches of snow yesterday and it was still snowing pretty good this morning when we got up. So we had a nice snow day today. So I'm going to put that right there. I haven't pressed it down yet in case I want to move it. Um, I have the mail. That's going to go right here. And then you've got, and I have dimensionals that I just snipped up and put those on there. So I think I'm going to move the mail down just a little bit. And the you've got... Hmm. I'm going to move this over just a tad. Okay. And then you've got... And then mail. There we go. All right. And then we're going to take a couple, a few actually, of our resin hearts. I love these things. You can color the white ones any color that you want. I've colored the, um, these are real red, and that's what we're going to be using. But I've colored the white ones. Um, see, I needed Poppy Parade for a swap, so I colored some of them Poppy Parade. And I've colored some of them green. I made I made these little cards here just for some thank yous for my customers. And I I love the green one. I really like that a lot. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um where is my sample? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna put one down here. Put 
one over here. Hunter, shut the door, please. Are you done yet? Nope. He's hungry. That child is always hungry. Oh, he eats his crackers. <laughs> he likes his crackers. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Oh, where did my dot go? Another one here, and another one up here. All right, so there we go. There's that. Easy way. All right, so now this can go right on top of this using some more dimensionals. Now this mailbox is about a half an inch smaller than this mailbox. I didn't like all this space right here. So I just, this is six inches. If you want it six inches, you can do it six inches. I did mine five and a half, okay? Trial and error because I had no idea uh, how they did theirs. I'm just going to put some glue here because this is pretty bulky right here. So I think I'm just going to put some glue right there. And I'm also not going to put any up here on the mail. Alright. Some glue. We'll put some glue here. And I'm going to put some glue on here. And then this is going to go on the front of this. Just like that. And we are all done with our card. And that's just there to uh, hold it. I see there's a little bit of glue right there, but I can just take my adhesive eraser. And that's all gone now. And that is it. I thought that was pretty cute. Then you can just, um, like I said, use your envelope punch board and make yourself an envelope and you're good to go. So here's the one I made earlier. And like I said, this one is a half an inch taller. Um, I like the, sh the shorter, I do like the shorter one. This one's five and a half. I like the not so much space right there. Yep. Um, I think that's it. We'll make sure I got everything on here. I believe I did. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if you do not have a demonstrator and need a catalog, I would be happy to send you one if you just leave me a comment below. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.